flashcards and gems exercise that I am assigning you is going to help students begin to name some of the various landmark notes on the piano. So this should begin to assist with um, reading, kind of getting you prepared for that process. So for starters, what I would ask you to do is to divide up your flashcards that were in that little baggie, there's 10 flashcards, and divide them, um, take out all the C, anything that has C in it, the base C, the low C, middle C's, treble C, take those out of the pack and then set the others aside. Okay, so that's your first job. So this will be the level one, um, the first week that we're going to do the exercise. So what I would say is we start with the middle seats. We're going to begin to identify these on the, on the piano, which we already have started in lessons. So we put in front of us on the piano, on the rack here, treble, middle C. Kitty cat whisker that says underneath it. You take one of your gems and you find your middle C. For me, it's right by the words on my piano, right by the Yamaha. This is the middle of my piano, that's the middle C. That's the first one. Then I'm gonna ask students to put a gem on the bass middle C. Kitty cat whiskers as well. Well, that is again, the same exact note. So, you got two gems on the middle Cs. Next, students should find Sorry, not the low C, but the bass C. So you find the bass C. I begin to tell students the bass C is just down from the middle C, down here. We begin to call this the second space bass C, okay? Next up, we're gonna find and label the second space treble C. So this is our middle C. We go up to the second space treble C. Then we look for the low C which is two lines below, we will learn eventually. So this one we gotta go even lower. Here's our middle C, our bass C, and the low C is way down there. Can you see that? <laughs> I'll pull it back some. And then finally, we look for the high C. So this is our middle C's, our treble C's, and then the high C's up here. So those are the C's that I would like you to be looking for this week. Now what we do, you take your deck of those cards, we shuffle them up, and we begin to remove them by name. So first of all, we take off the high C. So high C was the one up here, middle, treble, high. Take that one off, you remove that one. Then we're going to remove the next card in my pile. We're going to remove the base, middle C. Base, middle C, over here, right? One of those gems. Then we're gonna remove the treble C. Treble C, this is my middle C, this is my treble C. We can remove that one. Then we're gonna remove the low C is the next card I draw. So middle C, bass C, low C, we take that off. Then I drew the bass C, so second space, bass C. Middle C, bass C. So we will take that off. And the last card in my pile was treble middle C, which will be this one. So you can practice doing that this week. I just shuffle up the cards. First of all, put them um, on the keyboard. Uh, if you want to follow the video, you can place them that way. Then shuffle up the cards and remove them, okay? And then we're gonna see if we can get um, that labeling really um, secure for students before we move to the next step.